Good morning, students. In your last class, I just discussed the meaning of commerce. Then I discussed the meaning of trade. Then I discussed the trades are divided into two categories. One is called the internal trade or the domestic trade, and the other is called external trade or the foreign trade. And then, in yesterday's class, I discussed the different types of domestic trade or the international trade. Sorry, different types of domestic trade or you can say the internal trade have been discussed in yesterday's class. And in today's class, I am only going to discuss. about the different types of external trade or foreign trade and then i'll discuss about e-commerce or e-trade if you know the meaning of commerce what i told you in yesterday's class and if you know the meaning of trade and easily you will understand what is e-commerce and e-trade both are as different words but basically the meanings are same so in today's class first i am going to discuss about the foreign trade you know the meaning of foreign trade trade means buying and selling of goods and services is basically called a trade when the buying and selling of goods and services are taken place beyond the geographical boundary of a country those types of trades are called external trade that means when the buying and selling of goods are taking place outside the geographical boundary of a particular country when it's go beyond the geographical boundary of a country or when you are bringing something or buying something from outside your own country those types of trades are called external trade or foreign trade i hope the definition is very much clear to you that means when buying and selling of goods are taken place beyond the geographical boundary of a particular country those types of trades are called foreign trade or beta uh, external trade and this foreign trades or the external trades are divided into three categories one is import the other is export and the third one is intraport what is import import when you buy something from other country to your country those types of trades are called import trade like suppose india is buying something from usa so the product of usa is coming to india that means you are buying the things outside our country so you are getting something from outside the geographical boundary of your country those types of trades are called import trade so i hope it is clear what is import trade when you are buying something from outside the geographical boundary of your country those types of trades are called import trade like you are buying a particular product from america for the purpose of use in india those types of trades are called import trade next coming export export that means when some product of your country is been sold to the other country those types of trades are called export trade that means like india is producing tea leaves and this tea leaves is been sold to say england so the, the tea leaf from india what is been produced by india it is sold to who to england so that particular product of india the tea leaves is the product of india it is going beyond the geographical boundary of india that type of trade is called export so export ka matlab kya hai apna desh ka saman 
जब दूसरा देश में बेचा जाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एक्सपोर्ट ऑन द अदर हैंड दूसरा देश का सामान को जब अपना देश में लाया जाता है और अपना देश में बेचा जाता है दो टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेड्स आर कॉल्ड इंपोर्ट एक अपना देश से बाहर भेजना दैट इज एक्सपोर्ट और दूसरा दूसरा देश का अपना देश में लाना दैट इज इम्पोर्ट and i would give the example of both now whenever the any trade you are going to try whether import or export whether the question ask you or not you have to give an example and if you don't give the example you are not going to get the full marks because question may ask you what do you mean by import trade what do you mean by export trade the question may ask you you have to give the definition and after giving the definition you have to give the examples and if you don't give the examples beta you are not going to get the full marks please remember it that time don't say sir question mein the example pucha nahi tha but you are supposed to write it and the third thing intra port trade this is dusra type ka hai that means when you are buying something from a particular country but the things is not been used by that particular country who bought it they sold it to some other country those types of trades are called intra port trade like suppose india buying something from usa but the product what india brought bought from usa that is not been used in india that is been sold to bangladesh so this kind of trades are called एंट्रा पोर्ट ट्रेड मतलब एक देश से सामान दूसरा देश मंगाता है बट द कंट्री हु बॉट इट दे नेवर यूज इट इट इज बीन सोल्ड टू समन एल सम अदर कंट्री दो टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेड आर कॉल्ड एंट्रा पोर्ट ट्रेड सो इन यू बाइंग सम प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम ए पर्टिकुलर कंट्री द कंट्री हु इज बाइंग इट दे आर नॉट यूजिंग इट इन देअर कंट्री दे आर सेलिंग इट टू सम अदर फॉरन कंट्रीज those types of trades are called intra port trade i can give an example india bought something from usa but the things what has been bought from usa that is not been used by india that has been sold in to bangladesh those types of trades are called intra port trades so foreign trades are divided into three categories import export and intra port i hope it is clear to you and at last ई कॉमर्स और ई ट्रेड आजकल का जमाना हो गया बेटा ई कॉमर्स एंड ई ट्रेड सेम थिंग वॉट इज ई कॉमर्स ई ट्रेड वेन बाइंग एंड सेलिंग्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस आर टेकन प्लेस बाई यूजिंग द इंटरनेट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ इंटरनेट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ कंप्यूटर बाय द हेल्प ऑफ मोबाइल फोन बाय यूजिंग नेट यू आर डूइंग द बाइंग एंड सेलिंग थिंग्स आर बीन टेकन प्लेस that is what is called e-commerce or e-trade that means electronics commerce or electronics trade by using the electronics media with the help of net you are doing the buying and selling like aaj kal bahut tumhare paas beta aaj online jo tum order dete hai you are sitting at home you are giving online order this online order what you use in your day to day life that is basically called e-commerce or e-trade e-commerce or e-trade i hope it is clear to you when you are doing some buying and selling of product by using what internet by using the help of computer by using the help of mobile phone what you are doing it that is what is called e-commerce or e-trade beta all right you can give an example amazon is there kya kya different companies are people always buying you are knowing better than me you can give those examples now though it is not in your syllabus so one just few things let me tell you what is the you know importance of e-commerce or e-trade uska kya importance hai beta first importance you must know it will be very good you can buy and sell 24 hours or not because in abhi dukan band ho gaya rat 12 baje but by the help of your laptop or computer or you can say mobile phone by using the net will you be able to give the order at night or so whenever you want By the help of e-commerce, you can give the order 24 into 7. Saat din ka 24 ghanta de sakta there is no stoppage. Third thing, by the help of e-commerce or e-trade, you will be able to get the things from anywhere in the world. Dunia ka kahi se bhi tumko jorat hoga, will you be able to get the things by the help of this or not, beta? Third thing, 
Fourth thing, you can see by the help of e-commerce or e-trade, the price of the goods are little less than what you are going to buy from the shops or not. So just I am giving you certain certain benefit of e-commerce or e-trade. All right, though it is not in your syllabus, but you must know why the people are nowadays are interested to do the e-commerce or e-trade. E मतलब electronics commerce and electric. You know the meaning of commerce. You know the meaning of trade. I already told you. If you know the meaning of commerce, if you know the meaning of trade, उसका पहले खाली जोड़ जोड़ दो बेटा electronics. What is the next? By using what? Net. When you are doing the work, that is what is called. So I hope I made it clear to you. Please read it sincerely. Try to understand it with the practical examples. And if you understand it with the practical examples, that will be very easy for you. So thank you. Thank you so much for today's class.